All right. So we're now recording live from a, a real estate office and uh, mastering the powers of the Internet. And we're going to get underway right now. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do is to bring up just a short little thing. And we were covering this in the meeting for the last hour. And that is information in the business can now be at your fingertips. And if you have an Android, you can go to the Play Store and search ICI World and bring it up on your screen. If you have a BlackBerry, you can bring it up on iciworld.mobi, add it to your home screen. And if you have an iPhone, you can go to the App Store, search ICI World. It will give you instant access to databases that are coming in. 50 to 150 new listings a day are coming in, and it'll all be at your fingertips. And if I had a way to show you right now, I would, but I have to move on. I could show you, actually, but I'm going to move on. Let's, let's move on. So today's session... If I can get going here, let's, there we go. It's called Mastering the Powers of the Internet. I now have my clicker working. And it's a culmination of being on the Internet for 20 years, helping licensed real estate brokers and salespeople make money using the powers of the Internet. And I am presenting it here to you, what we have learned and what is making people money on the Internet and how you generate leads. Um, let's move on. Cell phones. I do this as a reminder for me because I forget to do it sometimes. And I've just shut off my cell phone here so that it won't uh, ring. You may wish to do the same. Thank you. Now, next, I want to show you some of the speakers and instructors that we have. One is Gary Clausen. He's uh, actually on the uh, board of directors, Mississauga Real Estate Board. He's been a real estate broker for almost 40 years. Um, he's an instructor, a coach, a mentor. He runs weekly programs every Wednesday on coaching for licensed real estate people. It's free for you to listen into the coaching. And uh, you can give him a call directly. If you need his number, you give us a call. And he has, he's the founder of the Star Group and um, many years in the real estate business helping licensed real estate people take advantage of the internet. And he's just a wonderful fellow. And uh, I'm just so pleased and happy to have him aboard. And we have several other instructors. We have Connie Allen in Florida who is coming online. She's a uh, certified international property specialist. She's been a real estate broker. She worked out of uh, Ontario for many years, and she also has her license in Florida. So there's a great connection if you're thinking of doing something back and forth cross-border. We also have another gentleman, uh, Michael Avey, that's going to be coming online. He'll be at the Realtor Quest coming up in Toronto at May 7th and 8th, at the Toronto Real Estate Board Realtor Conquest. And he's also a certified international property specialist. He's going to be putting on courses. We're going to help him do that if you want to deal with international properties around the world as well, both residential and commercial. Then we have another one, Judy Casimer. She's uh, now an ARIA instructor. By the way, Dave, uh, Gary Clausen, he's been an ARIA instructor for many years as well. And with all of these different instructors coming online, the reason um, that we're having them do that is we're doing more and more presentations to offices like this, and it's becoming a bigger and bigger network. And the more people there are, the more synergistic everything gets so that if you have a buyer for something, but somebody over here has something for sale, maybe that's not on the Internet, but you can connect with them through this service because as you see up here, 75% of the listings are exclusive. And I'm going to be explaining how you work exclusive and uh, uh, information like that on a confidential basis. Um, there's the information on myself. That's my name, Gary Nuska. I also happen to be a CCIM, and I'm going to suggest everyone write this down. It's one of the first things you can take notes on. Everybody at home should also be taking notes on a pad of paper. You should all go to CCIM.com. You should write that down and write a second address down, www.CCIMCanada.com. Now, the CCIM stands for Certified Commercial uh, Investment Member. It's an um, educational course that helps everyone learn more about commercial real estate. And you can mark down CI 101 um, if you need. Uh, CI 101, mark that down. And uh, that's the course we recommend residential people. All licensed real estate brokers should take the course called CI 101. You should write that down. You go to CCIM.com to learn about it. And you can also go to CCIMCanada.com, which is the local chapter that meets at the Toronto Real Estate Board 
basically on a regular basis. We have meetings at the Toronto Real Estate Board. I happen to be the membership chairman. If you want to learn more about it, I've got a few other file folders about the CCIM chapter. You can ask me afterwards. But if you visit the two websites, you will learn about it. And why do I bring that up? Part of the reason is, is that a lot of you will, that are in residential real estate will sell one home approximately to one family how many years? How many, if you sell a home to a family, how many years before you maybe sell another home for them? Just give me a number. About five years? So in other words, you have one family buys a home once every five years. But if you are working with an investor, you could be selling two properties a year every year for five years, 10 properties to one contact, one good investor. But in order for you to work with that investor, I mean, you're getting phone calls all the time. You might have four calls from these, one from an investor. You don't know he's an investor. You qualify him and find out that he's looking to buy more properties to create wealth. Where did 90% of the millionaires make their money? Real estate, that's right. So people are looking to invest in real. All the people you sell homes to, you can help them create wealth in real estate by getting them to invest in real estate. But you have to add some value to help them. Mark down, CI 101. Actually, I need that chair. That's for me. That's okay. <laughs> so we have a sold out crowd here in the audience. On a, on a very snowy day with approximately 10 inches of snow coming down, I must give you all congratulations to get through. A few snowflakes didn't bother you, eh? What do you think? I, I do feel bad for the older people and people that are sliding around and can't make it. But for the others, hey, we're real estate people. We can get through anything, and we are determined to do things when we want to. And that's one thing that's the strength of our industry. But um, so this, if you take this one course, CI 101, which you should write it down, research it at CCIM.com. This course will help you analyze before tax and after tax of owning any piece of real estate, whether it's a duplex, a triplex, a 10-unit apartment building, a 100-unit apartment building, a shopping center, a regional shopping center, $50 million. You will learn what goes into that, and it will take the mystery out of commercial real estate. You as a residential person will have a much better feel of what goes into this building that we're in. How does the person who owns this plaza, how does he make money? And you're going to learn that. And then when you can present that kind of a picture of somebody's investing in maybe 10 units, 5 units, 2 units, duplexes, or whatever, you're going to show them a picture of it, how they make money over 5 years. A lot of the people you deal with have a net worth of $250,000 and more. Your competition... In my opinion, it's not each other, it's the stock market. Who was talking about the stock market here at the beginning? Somebody was talking about it. Somebody talked about the stock market going up or down. Who was it? It was at this meeting, somebody just spoke about it. The stocks, didn't somebody talk about stock market? Uh, industries going up and down? Okay, maybe uh, that's what I thought I overheard anyways. Um, the point is, is that a lot of people like doctors and lawyers and people with a high net worth, they get a call from the stock market saying, uh, you know, I think there's a good tip. You should buy some shoppers drug mark stock. I think it's going to be going this way. I think you should put $50,000 in it. Now, I have a question for you. Do you think a dentist on the phone at lunch hour knows all about the stock market? No. But he tells the stockbroker, Go ahead, 50000 give it a shot. If you think it's good, I try it. Are you with me? Yeah. People can invest in real estate if you can show them where they make the money and if you show them how to manage it, offer assistance to manage it. You can be getting that money that's going to the stock market. You can be getting more of that to invest with you, buying and selling properties. I have a, broke, a question for the broker, and I think you probably understand. In fact, all of you understand. When you sell property, do all of your clients eventually create a lot of wealth? So every one of you in this room has helped to create wealth for your clients. In fact, we do it more for them sometimes than ourselves. We should be buying more real estate, and we're not. Why? As soon as you see something good, you think about it, you tell somebody, and you sell it to them. We can buy some too. If you have this course, CI 101, under your belt, you will become more knowledgeable 
and you can add value to people that are buying and selling real estate. That's the CCIM down here. Now you'll also see that I've been a broker for the last 40 years, but I want you to consider me as an information assistant, as a marketing and information assistant to you personally. I am specializing in helping real estate brokers and salespeople take advantage of the internet. You might specialize in residential properties in a certain area, or maybe you want to sell gas stations or motels or whatever it is that you do, you specialize. I'm specializing in helping salespeople. So I appreciate the opportunity that you give me if you give it to me to help you, and that's what I do for a living, and I now have 1,000 members that are on our service that I'm helping one-on-one. -on -one. We have a little workshop each day, 14 appointments a day. I'm helping different, different people. Once I get you trained and you know how to do this stuff, you don't need any more training. You will be dealing directly with the world with more information than what you can put on a real estate board. And I'll show you that in a moment. Now you notice the social media down here. Every one of you has a sphere of influence. The sphere of influence. If I ask you now, how many people were at your last wedding that you went to, how many people were at the wedding? How many? 400. How many? Give me some more numbers. How many attended the wedding? The last wedding you went to? 700. 700. 400. What else? Five to six hundred. Even if it's one to two hundred, the point is you all have a sphere of influence. All of those people are buying and selling real estate. Now, how do you approach them? Well, one way you do it is through the social media that you see at the bottom of the screen, starting with LinkedIn. How many people in this room have a LinkedIn account? Okay, there's some that do not, I notice. I recommend you get it. And the reason is that a LinkedIn account is like your business card on the internet. Now, in Canada, the population would be going down if it wasn't for immigration. So here you've got 250,000 to 300,000 families a year coming to Canada and 150,000 of them coming into the greater Toronto area. So when they come to a new country, they don't have licensed real estate people back home in the rest of the world. In fact, a lot of them are shysters. A lot of them take their money and a lot of them don't even have, give you, you think you're getting title, you're not even getting title. There's a lot of problems around the world. I've talked with other people around the world. Some places they're getting better and it's getting better. And we would even like to help them. The real estate associations would like to help them. What I'm getting at is you all have a sphere of influence if you have LinkedIn, they can go onto the internet, not even telling you to go see who you are. And then they're going to see you are a licensed real estate professional salesperson. You are licensed with the Canadian Real Estate Association. You are a realtor, which has special code of ethics. You're a member of the Ontario Real Estate Association. You're a member of the Toronto Real Estate Board. These are things, don't take it for granted. It's very special. It gives you a license to trade, to trade in real estate information. And I'm going to show you today how you can be trading in more than just a listing on a real estate board. There's a lot of other things. You can be working 10 times as much as that's my opinion, and I'm willing to debate it with any professional. A lot more information that you can be making money on than what you can do on a real estate board. If I ask you a question now, is there anyone in this room that has more than five listings on a real estate board? Anyone? <laughs> How many people have zero list? It's okay to say zero. Just put up your hand. Zero listings right now on a real estate board. Okay. One. Two listings, three, four, and then we know five. Basically, are you not almost all out of business? Agree or disagree? Agree. Okay. I'm going to show you today how you can be in business big time. And I mean it big time. You give me a few moments and you'll see as we develop that how you can be getting more inventory on the internet. 
to do business. So one way to do that is with the Facebook, if you're talking to somebody at a wedding, and maybe you have some pictures of the last family gathering or you have a newborn child, you share it with Facebook. You share these pictures and you do these. If you go to a picnic or a family gathering or back home or something, you put them on Facebook and then they visit your Facebook account and then they see that you are in real estate and you have a beautiful website with all these listings on it. Exclusive listings, not on the Toronto Real Estate Board. MLS listings commercial listings, hotels, motels, gas stations, lists of buyers looking to buy, showing how well connected you are in the marketplace, they start to say, oh my God, I know he was in real estate, but I didn't know he was that well connected. So the Facebook and all of these other things down here, that can direct traffic to your Facebook account, and then they're going to see your fan page, which you should have your real estate fan page, to have your website up there, what it is that you do professionally, and those kinds of things. And so that becomes what we call in incoming leads for you off the internet. Leads. Usually, we're going to go knock on doors all the time, trying to talk to people, send out emails, trying to talk to people. That's the regular way of doing it, and we're not going to give up. But we are going to start to do some of this other stuff to get more leads to come in. What's better? to deal with uh, somebody in your sphere of influence. If I'm going to buy a home, isn't it better if I know you in the family, I'm, I see you at weddings, I also see you at funerals, I know. But the point is, it's a sphere of influence. Isn't it better to buy a home from you, maybe somebody I can trust, than somebody I don't know? And all of these people are people that maybe they will trust you, want to deal with you. Because they know you're going to see them next time in the family, and you better do a good job, and they tell other people. So that's even extra special to deal with each one of you, all the people in your sphere of influence. Let them know about these tools that you have on the internet. Okay, let's move on. Now, I need you to open up your file folders now. In your file folders, the people at home, you'll have to go to seminars, and down at the bottom of seminars at iciworld.com, you go down to the bottom, you will see seminar handouts. Actually, you can do something easier than people at home. Just go to ICIWorld.com and click on testimonials because that's what we're looking at for the next two minutes. You go to ICIWorld.com, everyone that's listening to me online, and click on seminars. Let me make sure I've got all of these on. Yes, I do. Okay, and when you click on seminars, the reason I show this to people is how do you know, of all the people that make presentations here, how do you know this stuff can make money for you? How do you know? I show you right here. 40 pages of testimonials of people that are doing deals not on the Toronto Real Estate Board. Do you not have a package? Can somebody please give them a package? There's one there on the ground. And there's some in the pack. There's some on the back. Back in there, okay? So sorry about that. Anybody missing? Anybody else? Okay. No problem. <laughs> okay. So look, go through this. And look at the deals that are being done here, people. These are not on the Toronto Real Estate Board. Now, I've served on MLS committees. And, of course, it's important to have the Real Estate Board, and we always will. I'm just letting you know that in addition to that, there's other things going on that you can be doing business on. And I'm going to share them with you. And I wanted you to see literally 50 pages of testimonials here of people doing deals and I'm going to give some specific examples later of how the business is being done and so this should get you excited that you know there's business being done everybody can do it and I'll be showing you how okay let's move on now why do we take time on this busy day when there's a snowstorm outside, we happen to be in Canada broadcasting this. I broadcast these sessions from Florida, San Diego, from Vancouver to Montreal, Collingwood, all over the world. I can do this seminar. We're broadcasting live on the Internet, and we're speaking to a group of real estate salespeople at a real estate brokerage office right now, about 20-some-odd people. And the reason that we're taking time out of your busy schedule today is to help you and your families make money from all of this stuff and provide good services to the public. Because on the internet, 
of all the services that are on the internet, it's real estate that provides the highest return on investment. If we were all born, say, 100 years ago, some of us would be digging in a coal mine. Some of us would be digging in a gold mine. We might be digging for gold through the mud, through the dirt, through the weather, outside to try to make gold nuggets so that we can go home and have some money. Today, it is information that is gold on the internet. If you have a showing today because you get together with another gentleman here and go show your property, show his property, you have a chance to make $20,000. That is the goal that is on the internet. It's the connections that you can make. If you don't have a showing today, you don't make a penny today. But if you can go show a property, you have a chance to make money. So on the internet, it's real estate that provides the highest return on investment. If somebody calls you off a listing, on your website. If you have a website like this with thousands of listings, and I'll show you how you can get it, and somebody calls you on a property that is maybe in Oshawa, it's out of your market area, it's not here, you can do a referral. You can call the other broker and say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral commission okay with you? Again, that's a five minute referral, five minutes to do, and you can make five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Well, there are people that have done fifteen referrals through this network. That's a total of seventy-five minutes of their time. That's over a time period of two months in this one particular case. And he made forty-five thousand dollars for that seventy-five minutes of work. Now, the only reason you don't do referrals is because you're not getting the leads. If you could get the leads, can you do a referral? Absolutely. I'm going to be showing you today how you can be generating those leads. Let's move on. I was pressing the wrong button. Now, just to give you a recap on ICI World, right now we have over 30,000 have and want ads. Haves are the properties for sale and for lease. Wants are what buyers are looking to buy or what tenants are looking to lease. And you'll see up here, 75% of them are exclusive, not on. This is unique information on ICI World. We cover both commercial and residential. We covered commercial for the last 18 years. We just introduced residential a couple of years ago. We started introducing $750,000 and up luxury properties. It was so popular, we opened it up to all residential price ranges, everything, cottages. I don't care what price they are. We learned how to separate the commercial from the residential. And boy, have the information been coming in from the residential brokers. The majority of our brokers do both. They do residential and they do commercial as well. They're doing both. And I'll be showing you how you can be doing both. If you're doing residential and you get a call on an industrial building, what are you going to do? You do a referral, okay? And we'll talk about that. What else do we do? Properties coming for sale. I'm going to show you something on the screen just to open your eyes up on how exciting this can be. And you tell me if you're excited about it. Watch this. I'm going to go to search on ICIWorld.com. I click on search. And I'm just waiting for it to come up. And when it comes up, you'll notice that in the case of Canada, there's commercial, businesses, and residential. But just so that you know, when you're on ICI World, you are a global realtor, global. You can have properties back in the old country, country of origin. You can do properties all around the world, in the Caribbean, Asia. Indian subcontinent, all over the world, you can be doing, helping people buy and sell real estate. And if you get a contact here, you can do a referral to somebody in your country of origin. So you could be advertising properties all over the world. But let's click on Ontario Residential here, just to show you what's coming up. And you'll see the cities in Ontario come up. And I'm going to click on Brampton, because that's where we happen to be today. 
And there they are, all sorted by price. Do you see that? Now, one of them on here is coming for sale. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that before? No, watch this. I'm going to show you how to handle it here in a moment. What does this say up here, people? Keyword searching. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to go down a little bit. And what does this say right here? Coming for sale. You tell me if that isn't fantastic. Have we ever seen anything like this in the industry before? No. Now, how does this work? Let's say, how many, okay, this is exciting. Watch this. I think there's a lot of salespeople in this room that have, you think, a property coming for sale in the next month or two. I'd like to sh see a show of hands. How many people have a listing coming for sale in the next month or two? One, two, three, four, five, six. More than half of the audience coming for sale. You don't have it yet. But you're pretty good sure that you're probably going to get it. Some of you might not get it. That's the way it goes. But most of us should get it. So let's say you put a message on here, coming for sale. Um, this one here is Toronto Waterfront Condo. And let's say someone calls you. What you can say is, and the first thing that they're going to ask you is what? But they know you're an agent. Where is the property? Okay, where is the property? And can I drive by it? And if I like it, I'll call you back. You make a statement that in this particular case, you have to put an agreement in place first. You expect to have the listing in two or three weeks. And what you're going to do is you're going to put them on a list. And when you get the listing signed, you're going to call them back. And if they're still looking, and if they're still interested, you will make arrangements so that they will be one of the first people through the property. Can you do that? Yeah. 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 So all of you could be advertising coming for sale right now. Property's coming for sale. It's very special. We just started doing it. This is, we're learning, we on ICI World are learning from you and it's vice versa. We're learning because this is really your service. This is really your service, okay, to help you network with the industry. So when you have ideas of things that you would like to try to do, let us know and let's see if we can do it. Everything has to be RICO compliant. And I'm going to speak about your licensing provision, whether it's in Ontario, in California, Florida, or all over the world. I'm going to show you um, what you want to do to uh, look after yourselves. Watch this. Now, let's go right back to presentation here. So that's what we call about even coming for sale. Now, does anyone here sell condos? Nope. Everybody's got single family homes. Got a few condo people here? Condos? Um, okay, a few more. Um, how about assignments? You ever get into, anybody get into assignments? Anyone at all? Off and on? Yeah. Assignments are basically where somebody contracts to build a property and you take possession in two years and sometimes they have a change where all of a sudden they can't buy it and they got transferred and they got to move or something. And sometimes you can't put assignments on the Toronto Real Estate Board. Sometimes you need permission from the developer to do it. And other times you need to network it on an industry-wide basis. How do you do it? You can do them on ICI World. This would be called a keyword. Remember how we did search, Ontario Residential, <laughs> keyword, click on assignments. And so you could be working on assignments. You could show your buyers looking for condos. Maybe they can get an assignment deal that's fantastic before it's built. And they can take over the assignment. What else can you do here? Oopsie daisy, somehow I pressed the buttons and I went back. Sorry about that. And more. Now, here's something interesting. There are two databases here. There's a member database. When you are a member of ICI World, when you post your information on here, the public can call you. The public can send you an email. The public can visit your website. This brings traffic to your websites. 
but there's, and there's a big circulation, which I'll go through in a minute. But there's also a public database. The public database is where the public can add their listings absolutely free. But the only people that can read the contact information is the broker members. This is a broker-centric service. We only allow licensed real estate brokers and salespeople to join ICI World. We've had offers, big-time offers from developers and others to let them post information directly. We do not do that. It has to go through the hands of a licensed real estate salesperson like yourself in order to get on here. Haves are the properties for sale and for lease. The wants are what people want to buy. <coughs> Some of the largest transactions for start from the wants. We had one person who had a want, 20 to $100 million office building. A broker, a mortgage broker, spotted that ad and had a client that had a building that was $75 million. The salesperson is just like us, but she made a connection. She had somebody that wanted to buy properties from 20 to $100 million. So she put it on here. She got a call from this mortgage broker. The mortgage broker didn't believe her at first because everything on the internet, how can you believe everything on the internet? Maybe they're just making it up. She convinced them she had a legitimate buyer. Anyways, they made arrangements to see it. She ended up selling it and she sold 75. Actually, she sold, uh, there were three buildings. She sold two of them, $52 million and made a commission around two hundred thousand dollars so it's just a connection it's trading in real estate it's an extra zero okay it's still a have or a want you can trade in haves and wants if you have a shopping center for ten million dollars and you have a buyer you may not draw up the offer on it and if you don't know how to draw up an offer on a church a hotel an apartment building or something other than residential who can you call Your broker of record. And if the broker of record doesn't know how to do it, I know he knows where to get the answer. Could be a lawyer. You just pick up the phone. I got a special, any special clauses for a church, you know, or any special clauses for this, that, or the other thing. In this case, um, the lawyers drew the offer up. What you got to make sure is you put your company name on to get paid right on the offer. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Now there's two data streams here. There's a commercial data stream covering everything in real estate. And that's industrial, commercial, investment, land, farms, resorts, trailer parks, you just name it. Senior lifestyles, uh, senior living, hotels, motels, gas stations, restaurants, infill sites, beauty parlors, variety stores, you name it. It covers everything. And residential listings now, all price ranges, any place in the world. So it can be condos in the Caribbean, cottages, vacation properties, the whole works. We cover it all. Now, the circulation. We have a monthly circulation just by email alone of 60,000. We're doing that twice a month and sometimes three times a month. There's a 40,000 monthly readership for all the listings that are on ICI World. And everything we do, whether we're doing trade shows and the business exchange, advertising in the commercial investors, and advertising in all these newspapers. Everything is done to bring leads for your listings. Everything we're doing, everything on the internet, wherever you see us, ICI World, we're promoting your listings because if we get one person to call you on an ad that you had, you go show it, you make $30,000. It was simple for you, but it took all of this building of all these services to generate that one, that one lead. Now, the members, we also have 20,000 emails going out. What's that say? Daily. Every single day for all your listings, all year long. That's fantastic. So the moment, all you have to do is take a minute, two, or three to put your information on, which I'll show you later. You just type it in, wanted, you know, a home, Brampton, uh, four to $500,000, 30 to 60-day closing. That's it. Bingo. It gets circulated out to the whole industry. If somebody has a home, bingo, they can give you a call, and it can be the owners that call you. They might say, I see you have a buyer for my kind of property. 
can you come over and give me an idea of the price of my property? Now, the residential as well as commercial, uh, we have over 18,000 pages on the internet, so when you add something here, it's instantly on 18,000 pages on the internet. The activity levels, we have a statistical program that you can see there's over 1 million hits per month, and it's coming in from people from over 100 countries of the world. People, it's all on these mobile devices now. That's why I showed you that the apps and everything, we're making your information available on iPhones, iPads, Androids, Blackberries, Windows devices, you name it, we've got it for them all so that people can search that, pull up your listing, give you a call, bingo, go show something. <laughs> Makes it nice and easy. The super fast server that we have, I can't tell you what it took to build that. It was over a year. We had 62,000 connections we had to change and to move up to these new servers because the new software, it wasn't migrating to the new software because the new software wasn't built when they built the first software. So all these new things, I think a lot of major corporations and companies, they're entrenched in their old software and they how to get it to the new software, it is not an easy job. I can tell you that. We spent a year doing it and I've had a, a little bit of an engineering background from attending university. And, but this is kind of a passion of ours to build this for you, this community of like-minded people dealing in real estate on the internet. Now, you'll notice that we've got FISBOs here. Today, with the advent of the internet, more and more people feel that they can use the internet, sometimes better than us, by posting things on the internet. So you're seeing more and more FISBOs. How many people see FISBOs in their marketplace right now? Basically everybody. I'm letting you know, the, we call them cherries on a tree. Cherries on a tree. Here's the reason why. We have a special way that you can work the FISBOs in the marketplace. And there's other companies out there like PropertyGuys.com and Comfrey, lots of private for sales. How many of those would be in your marketplace right now? Would there be more than 10 or 20? How many people here get on Kijiji once in a while? Kijiji. Oh, we got a few here. How many properties privately for sale are there on Kijiji right now? Just in this area, Ontario even, roughly. 500. Guess what, people? All of those are opportunities for you. How about tonight in the newspaper, the Toronto Star? How many people are trying to sell properties themselves privately in the Toronto Star? There's not a right figure, just guess. 15 to 20, 15 to 20 at least right? So in other words, there's lots of people that are trying to sell properties themselves without licensed real estate people. So they put their information on one website. But today, I'm going to show you today how you have way more power than anything they have. Because the moment you put one of their listings on ICI World, it's instantly on 1,000 other brokers' websites. What's more powerful, to have your listing on one website or to have it on 1,000 websites instantly and it's instant what's more powerful to have your listing going out to a few emails or to have it to go out to 20,000 emails of people that deal in real estate 20,000 so in other words you see the power of these numbers that I'm starting to show you that you have a tremendous reach a tremendous penetration of the marketplace if you can plug into this and if it can be as easy as just typing it in just real nice and easy. Open listings. How many people ever had somebody say to them, I'd like to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing, but I will pay you a commission. How many people here? Is there anybody here that that did not happen yet? Just one? Okay, can I ask you how long you've been in the business? Okay. So for the younger people less than a year, you're going to find that all the for sale by owners are that way. They say, hey, you bring me in a buyer, I'll pay you a commission, but I don't want to give you a listing. Okay? All of these people know that already. All the other salespeople. Get excited. I have something special for all of you. Expired listings. I already showed you how to work company properties coming for sale. 
Now, there's other people that want to sell their properties quietly. And what I mean by that is, let's talk about a restaurant owner. Does he want his restaurant plastered all over the internet for sale? Why not? It affects their business. Yes, sir. It could be bad for business. The employees might start leaving. People wonder, is there something wrong in the kitchen? You know, is there something wrong? And he gets too many questions. They just don't want to deal with that. How do you handle that exclusive information? I'm going to show you now how to do it. Are you ready? And you should be getting your pen out ready to write this down. There it is, people. The three most important questions on ICI World on how to work open and exclusive information. And the first one is, whenever someone says, I'd like to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing, but I will pay you a commission, you ask them the first question, will you pay me a commission if I bring you in a buyer? You have already tried to get the listing. You've already tried to get an MLS listing. They've said no. So then you go to this. Will you pay me a commission if I bring you in a buyer? Got it? I'm going slow to make sure you understand. Vince Lombardi won the National Football League Championship seven years in a row, and he won two Super Bowls. Has anybody ever heard of Vince Lombardi? Anybody? Okay, we got a couple. And the reason, why would, they, why would he do that when there's Dallas Cowboys spend $1 billion on a team? All these teams are spending a $1 billion on their teams. How come it was that team with Vince Lombardi that won it that many times? Why? You know what he did? He had something called Vince Lombardi time. Vince Lombardi time is if he had a practice at 4 o'clock, if you weren't there 15 minutes before, you were late. And then they practice harder and longer than everybody else. Everybody knows how to block and tackle and run patterns and do all that stuff. But they did it more. Practice over. Practice again. Practice again. And he kept on drilling it in and kept on working it harder and harder and harder. So sometimes some of these things that I talk about may sound simple to you. But stay with me because I'm leading you someplace. And from doing these sessions, if I'm going to be asking you these questions afterwards, I want to make sure that it really kind of set in. Because this is the essence of making some money with information in the marketplace. Big time money. I'm talking $50,000 within 90 days of today if you ask people these three questions. And I'll give you some examples of people that have done it. So now you get one yes. This is a yes right here you get. Any questions with that? Okay, let's move on. The second question is this. Will you give me a 48-hour exclusive listing once I have a buyer? In other words, you ask that owner, will he give you a 48-hour exclusive listing once you have a buyer to show the property to? Even though we have 30,000 listings up here, 75% exclusive, it doesn't mean that we don't put an agreement in place first before showing the property or before identifying or giving the address of the property. Now, there is a carryover provision. What's the average carryover provision here on your listing agreements? 90 days I got? Pretty well 90 days. So if you show it within this 48 hours, if they try to buy it within 90 days, you're still protected. Right? Okay. So you cover yourself with a showing. Some brokers get five-day listings. Some can only get 24 hours. Some try for a month. You know. But the point is, you should never show a property without having a signed listing agreement, something to cover yourself in place, do you all agree? Yes. Okay. Any problems with that question? By the way, if you want these agreements, if you go in the front door at Treb on Don Mills and go to the right, they have exclusive agreements right there. Exclusive agreements to advertise. Exclusive agreements of different types. And talk to your broker, because I'm sure he also has exclusive agreements. 
we don't get into agreements, we let you know that you should have something in writing. Okay, the question is, why not have it more than that? You can have it more than that if you can get it. Five days, 30 days, you know, try for a three-month listing. But this is a response to people that said, no, I don't want to sign a listing now. Because why? They're trying to sell it themselves, right? <laughs> Let them sell it themselves. But you are going to have much more power to bring in buyers than even what they have. I'll show you. Now, this third question is so important, people. It's two parts. If you miss the second part, you might as well not even have come here today. You're almost wasting your time. The first part is you ask the person, may I advertise your property? That's the first part. <laughs> What's the second part? without disclosing the address. Now there's a reason for that. According to RICO, and you're all licensed with the Real Estate Council of Ontario and every licensing body in the United States and Canada has something similar, I, I would think, to this. <laughs> a registrant shall not include anything in an advertisement that could reasonably be used to identify specific real estate unless the owner of the real estate has consented in writing. So you have to have a signed listing. If somebody calls you and asks you the address and you give it to them, you better have a signed listing. Got it? But let's say you don't give the address. You can network that kind of information. Let's talk about it. If we say that we have a, a restaurant in Mississauga, $350,000 making money, are we giving that restaurant away? Can you figure out which one it is? The answer is no is correct. If I said that we had a restaurant at Huron, Ontario and Dundas Street, am I identifying that property? The answer is yes. Think about it. If you tell him it's at the corner of Huron, Ontario and Dundas Street, could he not go there and just talk to three owners? How long would it take to talk to three restaurant owners at 12, well, maybe 12 o'clock is busy. But you, know, you get the picture. You can go talk to those three owners and find out which one's for sale. How long would that take you? 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. And you might save $50,000 because you don't have to deal with a realtor. Let's do the next one. Toronto Triplex, $750,000, positive cash flow, great tenants. Are we giving it away? The answer, no, is correct. If I said that I had it at the corner of Bloor and Ossington, could I be giving it away? Yeah. Go to the next one. Oakville, four bedroom, two story, $1 million, under market, not on MLS. Is that giving it away? If I said it was next to the pizza pizza, yes. am I giving it away? No. Yeah. I could be identifying that property because there's only one pizza pizza. If somebody's going to say $40,000, is it worth it for them to go up and talk to the owner? If I said I had a gas station, SO gas station in Caledon, am I giving it away? How many yeses? How many noes? They were outnumbered. The reason is there's only one SO gas station in Caledon. This is, I'm glad you said that. This is an important learning, people. We're all learning this business together of information. So how would you advertise it if you had a gas station in Caledon? You could say uh, branded gas station one hour to Brampton or Toronto, whatever. Got it? You want to disguise it. You don't want to identify it. If I, even if there's two, they just have to go talk to the two owners. 
if I said I had a $30 million shopping center in Brantford, am I giving it away? Yes. Why? There's only one. <laughs> Good work. Good work, people. I'll give you some harder ones now that you're getting this. If I said I have a plaza in Markham with a Royal Bank and a Pizza Pizza, $10 million plaza, could you figure out which one it is? Yes. How would you figure it out? Yeah. Yeah, you just go to the yellow pages, look at Pizza Pizza, see what the Royal Bank is. Oh, those two are together. They're the same address. You know, this is what I call confidential information. Doctors have confidential information. Lawyers have confidential information. Accountants have confidential information. This is our confidential information for the real estate industry. If I took $50,000 in a satchel and I put it outside and I hope that the next person is going to return it to me, good luck. You could lose your $50,000. So if you have loose lips and you give the proximate location of the property that you're dealing with, could you be losing $50,000 because the people go behind your back and buy it? That $50,000 could be your retirement fund. It can help put your kids through school. It could buy a car, a nice vacation. You must protect that information like a bank protects its money. Got it? Yep. It's very, very important for you. This is going to make you a lot of money with information. Okay, I think I feel pretty good about that, that you've learned that. Most owners will give you permission to advertise this way as long as the address of the location of the property cannot be gleaned from the ad. Now, if you have trouble getting listings, I found a few people had trouble. The reason is when, when they ask for, uh, wait a minute, when they ask for, will you pay me a commission, they didn't say, if I bring you in a buyer. They were asking for the commission now. No, 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 no. It's if I bring in a buyer. Okay? Now, let's move on. Just before I do that, we had one lady, Doreen Francis from uh, Realty Networks. She is a residential salesperson, but she asked, she found somebody who was trying to sell space for a church. Would you ever call up an owner? He's got church for sale, church space available, $2.5 million. Would you ever call them up right now and try to get the listing on that? Probably not. She did. She asked them three questions. What's the three questions? What's the first question? That you're right. Will you pay me a commission if I bring you in a buyer? She got a yes. What's the second question? Will you give me a 48-hour exclusive listing if? If I bring you in a buyer. She got a yes. What's the third question from the back row? I know you got it. Perfect. You got the two parts. May I advertise your property? I'm going to do it without the address. Three very important questions. There they are. She got yes. She got yes. She got yes. It was a $2.5 million church. So what she did... She did this. Watch this. She went on to, wait a minute. She went on to ICI World here, and she clicked on Login. And on the left-hand side are all the choices for members. She clicked on Add, Have, Want. This is the form that you added in. And she typed in Etobicoke, Church. $2.5 million. How long does that take to do? I just did it, right? She highlighted Canada, Ontario, Greater Toronto, and Toronto. Happened to be in Etobicoke, you repeat it. Okay. 
Uh, it was a have. She put it under commercial because that's where we've been putting them. But it could be industrial too. Type description. Church. Etobicoke. 2,500,000. million dollars. And then we usually copy that information and paste it into the comments area down here. And then you go down to the bottom and bingo, you see something very exciting. Very exciting, people. If it's on MLS, you can choose MLS. If it's an open listing, which it was, you could choose open listing. If it's, or you could just treat it as exclusive. These are all the opportunities that you have. Now, the people that have a listing coming for sale, all those that had listings coming for sale, you could choose regular client. Are those regular people that you deal with? Pretty well. You could choose regular client. In her case, she chose exclusive. Bingo. Now, the last question on the screen says, will you allow your listings to be advertised on other brokers' websites? Every single listing had to be answered for four years to build this database up to get where it was. Every single listing. It took a long, long time to have all of the members agree to offer their listings to be on your site. If you have, how many people here have a website? One, two, three, four. Is that it? None back here? Okay, fine. On your website, you have a website? You, pardon me? Yeah, it's on a, we all work as a team, so it's a standard website for all of them. Standard, okay, standard website, okay. Okay, uh, we, we actually have a team membership too, which I haven't used till now, but we could consider talking about that. But I'm going to continue on normally because, let me just see how many people we have here on the internet, if there's more than two or three, just wondering. Well, we got about six of them that are listening in right now, and that's great. We will not be talking with you online, but you're welcome to, of course, stay on and listen and we would like your comments afterwards as well. Uh, but nevertheless, um, here we go. So you can agree or not agree to allow this listing to be on other brokers' websites, just letting you know that you have the control. <laughs> Once the listing gets added, I'm going to click on Latest World Commercial here on the left-hand side, and you're going to see that there's about 50 to 100 new listings coming in every single day. That's the commercial site. So it would appear, Etobicoke, Church, etc. Got it? Yep. If I wanted to show you the residential, I would click on Latest World Residential, and you'll see all the residential listings coming in one at a time, coming for sale, coming for sale. It's very, very exciting. Now, if somebody was searching for a church and they were at ICI World, what would they click on? Click on Search. And then we would go down to Ontario Commercial. And then we would click on Keyword. And what's the keyword? Church. You tell me, is there anything faster in the industry than that that we see right now? To bring up that, literally within 15 seconds. The church is available for sale. And buyers, too. There's wanted here. They're, they're both in the one under keyword, buyers and sellers of churches. Now, if you were talking to someone who owned a church, you're in residential real estate, I know, <laughs> but you're licensed to trade in real estate information. You know, a general practitioner doctor, does when you go to your own doctor, does he know how to operate on your heart? No. What does he do? He refers you to someone. If you don't want to work on a church, you could do a referral. And you can make money from doing those referrals in real estate. So you have those choices of whether or not you want to work information. I suggest all of you should be working information no matter what it is. Because you are the best well-connected people in the marketplace out here. You know all kinds of people. You're talking to all kinds of people. And you're going to be finding people who want to buy and sell, not necessarily residential real estate. You have a way of connecting and helping them to connect to do business. Okay, let's move on. Let's go right back to here. 
And okay, let's continue on. Now, widgets. How do we help you do business? Well, the hottest thing in the market today, one of the things, happens to be widgets. Widgets are links that go on your website. In other words, these are some of the widgets that go on a website. You'll see them over there. And I'm going to demonstrate some of these widgets to you now. These display data, both multiple listings and exclusive listings, and property information on your site in a way that drives traffic to you personally. Let's go and have a look at some of these widgets. And let's just move on from here. Hang on one second. Get rid of some of these other ones. These are more commercial properties. I'm going to try to stick to residential here in a second. Hang on a second. That's one, that's an older website that we had with some people. I'm just going through and seeing some of these now. Let's just try this one here, for instance. Browse listings. These are widgets on a website. These are widgets on a website. And I'm going to start, let's see, it says Search Ontario Commercial. I'm going to just click on that one to get started, and I'll show you the residence or the residential in a moment. This widget can go on all websites, no matter what website design company you have. It's a simple link. If somebody was interested in a church, could you not send them to your website like this and tell them to click on church? Could you do that? And if they clicked on church, up comes all the buyers and sellers of churches on the screen. Look at that. So in other words, you can have all of this on your website. Would you like that? All right. Let's say somebody, I'm covering commercial. I'm going to cover residential in a moment. Be patient, residential people. Now, if somebody's interested in an apartment building, would you like to send them to your website to see apartment buildings? Let's click on it. And up comes all of these apartment buildings on your website all over Ontario. Here's one coming for sale, 54 units. Bingo, somebody might try to click on it. I am trying to click on that listing and I can't do it. Is that good or bad? It's good. Why? they got to call you. If the person could click on that number, they could get the other broker, couldn't they? And if they get the other broker and they do a deal with the other broker, does that other broker call you back and say thank you? No. <laughs> he doesn't even know. That's right. So this, I say, becomes absolutely inevitable that every single one of you will get calls, leads, sooner or later, unless there's one thing missing. And what is that? In other words, let's say you have a website like this, and you have these listings. If you're not getting calls, what's the problem? It has not been exposed properly. Right? You're not getting traffic, in other words. In other words, you don't have people coming to your website. Now, some people have one website, but I have a question for you. If you are introducing a, proper, uh, a product into the city of Toronto, is it better to have one billboard or to have five billboards? Five. So if you have one website, websites are like billboards. You can have more than one website on the internet. And if they're all generating leads for you, why not? It's actually good for you. If you're not getting any leads, then it's kind of useless. You've got to be generating leads and you've got to learn how to promote traffic to your website. So we have a special program once a month. I'm not going to get into it today. That's another subject how to promote your website. It starts with your business card. Can I have somebody's business card, please? 
I'll take them all. All the business cards you got handy. Who's got handy business cards here? www.savemax.ca. Now, how do you distribute the leads on these websites on SafeMax? Um, that has been distributed by the office. Distributed by the office on a regular, ongoing basis. Yes. So that continues on. You just keep triggering leads for the office, right? Okay. So theoretically, if you had the widgets on this website, the leads that come from there, you just continue to distribute them. What you might, though, do the commercial leads to who does commercial in here? Okay. Yourself? Yep. Okay. So all commercial leads would go to yourself. That's fine. And the residential leads are being distributed. I got you. Okay. So that's what could be done on this main website. Okay. So if somebody called on an apartment building here, they have no choice. They call the office. Bingo. Call you. Now, let's say, though, that somebody went through this website and they happened to pick a property that was in London, Ontario. Now, are you going to go to London, Ontario to maybe try to lease that space? No. What are you going to do with it? You're going to do a referral. Okay. All right. Now, what do some of these other websites look like? I'm just going to have a quick look. Oops, there was your Save Max website. There it is there. So the way you have Find Commercial, you might have a little drop-down box with more choices. We have businesses for sale. We have Ontario Commercial, and there's other choices there as well. Just to give you an example, let's close that. There's a site disabled. Some of these other sites that are, uh, okay, so let me just close. I'm going to close that whole thing off, and I'm going to open it up again. One second. And I'm going to show you something very interesting here. Uh, let's go to this one here. Watch what I'm going to do, people. All of a sudden, you're going to notice a whole bunch of things happening. Bingo. There they are. All these websites are opening up right now. Bingo. They're all opening up all at once because I use something special called the favorites bar. You see this little yellow star up here at the top left corner with the green little arrow? You can add favorites to your favorites bar so that you never have to type in your top 10 favorite websites ever again for the rest of your life. Would you like that? It's right on the screen. I'm not talking about favorites. I'm talking about the favorites bar. It's right on the screen. I clicked on that one right there, and I put a bunch of websites in that one, and they all opened up at once. That way, if you have the Toronto Real Estate Board, you click on it right there. You don't have to type in www.torontomls.net. You don't have to do that stuff. You just click on Toronto Real Estate Board right there. You want your own website? You click on it right there. All of those things you can put on there. Now, let's go into what some of these, how these widgets work. Here's an example of a website that is very, very important. Not the design of the website, but I'm going to show you the website, and you're going to notice that it has residential and commercial. I'm suggesting to you that these residential buttons right here are like spark plugs for your car. Your car, I don't care if you're going to have a Mercedes out there, it will not go without spark plugs. You've got to have spark plugs. These are widgets are like spark plugs for a car. Now, in addition to the widgets that we supply, and I'm going to demonstrate the residential widget, Ontario Homes, mostly exclusive. When I click on that, up comes this list. If somebody wants Brampton, by the way, you're all licensed in the province of Ontario. That's why all of these are here. Somebody could be on the internet that's interested in a property in Bowmanville or some other place, or Burlington, Caledon, it could be any place. You click on Brampton, and bingo, comes up all these properties in Brampton. Isn't that neat? Now, if somebody is interested in this property here, you are going to get a call. Somebody's going to say, I'm interested in message number 295368. Can you help me? What are you going to say? Yeah, I certainly can help you. Now, if you happen to get a call, but it happened to be on a property that was in Oshawa and not here, and somebody says, can you help me on one of these, what are you going to say? That's right. 
it worked along with me and then I referred it to them. They were positive. There you go. You do a referral. You got that? One referral, they're averaging five to ten thousand dollars, and it takes five minutes to do. And that's what this can start to generate for you. Now, the second thing that we do in addition to the widgets for your website is actually supplying websites. And we're suggesting that, can you imagine you have one website now, but what if you had 15 more websites all on the internet, billboards bringing in more business to the office? Could that be good for you? Yeah, think about it. So these websites have these special ways that we have built into them. And it's not the design of the website because there's a thousand different designs. And it, Earth's great treasure lies in human personality, so you may come up with another design. If you have a picture of a home, it makes your website look residential. If you have a picture of a commercial building, it makes your website look commercial. You could have a picture of the skyline of Toronto. You could put that there. Maybe you sold a property that you think it's really nice, get the permission from the owner. You could put that up here. So you can do different pictures for different things. And if you do more than one type of business, you could have three pictures, one of a home, one of a commercial, and one of something else. So you can make up that graphic that goes on the front. Now, let's talk about this. Has anybody ever heard of this company here called Point Two? Anybody? Okay, this company here is a company out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. They have helped create over 300,000 real estate websites for professionals like yourself. ICI World is an official distributor of these websites. ICI World is an official distributor and we are a first line of support. We support these websites, we design them. Even if you don't have a computer, we totally build these websites for you so that it becomes a tool for you on the internet. Watch this. If I, and there's 300,000 real estate people. If somebody, the first thing we do is install the TREB IDX link for you on this website. Would you like to have a website that you could send somebody to search your website for the listings on TREB? Would that be helpful? Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about this other one now, and I'm going to click on, I'll click on GTA Homes. We're suggesting that you should have all the properties in the GTA, literally from Burlington to Oshawa on your website, because somebody could call you. Remember I talked to you about one fellow did 15 referrals? Yep. Well, if you have properties from Burlington to Oshawa, you've got a better chance of triggering leads. This first one happens to be exclusive. You don't have that on any of your websites right now. This is exclusive. You don't have it. Exclusive, you don't have it. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive until we get to MLS. MLS, every realtor has it or should have it. Agreed? Yep. Yep. But these ones, you don't have. Now, if I was to click on one of these homes right here, and let's just, I don't take this one here for the sake of argument. Click on it. You tell me if you don't think, I call this the ultimate in marketing on the internet. When you can have interior color photos, slideshow displays, and this can be seen by people, over 5 billion people all over the world. Here's the exciting part of today's seminar. I'm going to show you something very exciting. These mobile devices, there are now more mobile devices on the planet Earth than there are people on the planet Earth. Everybody's got them. Standing in line at Tim Hortons, boom, everybody, all over the place. Even right now, maybe some of you are using it, I don't know. Actually, you all have your attention, that's pretty good. Sometimes people, I just can't keep attention everything. But now, you have one of these mobile devices, and let's say that someone happens to ser search your website. You give them your website, bingo, your website can come up on these things. Now, I have a nice one here that I want to show, maybe it's this one here, yes. This could be your website. In other words, people could be, you could give out your website address to someone around the world. And they can bring it up on their mobile devices. Okay? You see that? You can see that from there? Yep. Now, watch what it is. I'm going to show you what's special about these mobile, these sites that we supply. This is the website that you see on the screen. Okay? From this gentleman. This can be your website. 
just like that. Watch this. What makes it exciting is to mobilize the website. This is the biggest revolution in real estate right now. Watch this. Do you see the word residential and commercial right there? Watch what happens when they disappear. When I make the website small enough that fits on a mobile design, how do you make the choices? Well, right there. Does everybody see that? I want to make sure that you understand this. Do you see that right there? Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on it, and bingo, up comes all these choices. Okay? You still have the website there. Everything is there. Now, let's say somebody is interested in the Greater Toronto Area Homes. Maybe they click on it, and I can make a special button for Brampton. Actually, there was one there. Let's go back. I just hit the back button. Let's click on it again. What does this say? Mississauga, Brampton, Milton. Why don't we click on that right now? And when I go down the page, these listings start to come up. Now, if I happen to, that's a new home, I think. Let's go something that's already built. I don't know, I'll just take this home here for the sake, sake of example. I click on that. Look at how this home starts to come up on the screen. Isn't that fantastic? And they're going to be looking at it on their mobile device. If I click on this one here, I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on Greater Toronto Area. I'm going to bring up another home just for something different. And I'll click on this one here. Excuse me. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to turn it sideways to make the picture come up. People from all over the world can see this. Isn't that fantastic? The way people can see color photos, slideshow displays from your website, your personal website. These are services that are now available. They're working and they're working fabulously for people. They're working and I'm going to go over now, there's, there's some important things about this website that you should know about that no other website has. Now, did I say get rid of your other website ever? No. We support all websites. We support them with widgets, such as you see there. And we suggest that you consider having two, three, four websites. You could have them all. If they're all generating leads from you from the marketplace, <laughs> that's good for you. Watch this. When I go to residential, I can click on a property search button. Up comes a form. How, who's going to be doing an open house in the next three months? How many people are going to do an open house? Almost everybody? Get excited. Get excited because here's what you can do. Somebody comes to your open house. What's one of the first questions you ask them? Are you working with a realtor who said that? Are you working with another realtor? And if they're not working with another realtor, here's what you can do. You can tell them that I can have my website send you out the listings automatically. What price range are you looking? First of all, what's your email address? You put their email address in. Then you go down here to the price range. Give me a price range. Okay, 450 to 550 or something, right? You put their price range in. They can do it themselves or you can do it. And then you can click on residential or you can click on condominium. And then you can go to specify locations, Ontario, choose greater Toronto area, and he doesn't have Brampton on his website. I can't believe it. That is, an, um, that, I'm glad it's happened. I got to share this with you. We have a special pledge. The pledge is to everyone in the industry, not just everyone in the room, that every single person makes connections here. Everyone makes connections every three months. How do you measure whether something works for you or not? If you're getting the leads, it's working. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to sell them. It's up to you to sell them. But if you're getting the leads, we've done sort of our job, helping you connect with these people. If you're not getting the leads, I say there's something wrong. In the past, we had some people who abandoned the service. They just didn't rejoin. And we couldn't figure out what's the matter. So we tried to get a hold of them. They said, well, I didn't generate any leads in the first couple of weeks. So I figured, ah, forget about it. 
I have a question for you. If you have a flat tire in your car, do you abandon the car? <laughs> no. You get it fixed. If you have something wrong and you feel uh, something wrong or you get an earache, you go to the doctor, you get it fixed. If you're not getting leads, people, from the Internet and you got our service, you call us. That's one of the most important things for brokers of record. You say, did you call Gary? Did you call ICI World? Now, I'm going to go in here and I see, is there a choice of Brampton on this website? No, it's not there. I don't know what happened, people. I really don't know. I'm going to pick another website here. Here's another one. I'm going to go to residential. I'll go to GTA Homes. Actually, it was property search. Remember we went to property search? I'm going to go down this page. And I'm going to go down to specify locations, Ontario, Greater Toronto, and Brampton's not there. There is something wrong. Unless somebody put it under Toronto or changed it, it might have happened. I don't know. Oh, was it Peel? Oh, that could explain it. Sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Thank you, people. You're absolutely, where's Peel? Where? Oh, there, there, there. Oh, thank you, people. Thank you. I just noticed. I was wondering why I couldn't find it. Up until now, it's been the other place, but somebody changed it to put it under Peel, which is a good idea. I agree. So now people click on Brampton. So that other website does have it. Okay. So now, but I wonder if everybody's going to know that. If I didn't know it, I'm sure a lot of other people might not know that. Do you agree? Yeah. I'm going to make a suggestion that you put an announcement on the front page of your website that if you're looking for Brampton, put it under Peel, especially for people that work in Brampton. You better make a separate uh, a highlight of it. Okay? That's, that's important. If I couldn't find it and I'm in a seminar teaching it, that could be a problem. Thank you. Okay, so now you've got Brampton program for residential 450 to 550, bingo, people can click on it on your website. I can actually go back to Everything Counts, where we were, and uh, in his case, it'll bring up all these properties in Brampton. There they are. Isn't that neat? And if somebody likes one of these, they click on it, bingo. Now, this comes up on the screen. This listing, even though it's not his listing, will automatically get sent to your clients that you got on the open house. It'll have your name on it. Now, at the very bottom of the listing, in fine print, it will have this advertised, whatever the company is, down there at the bottom. And if they want to bypass you people, they will anyways. But if you're providing good service, your name and phone number should be right here. And if you're answering your phone, that's the other thing. We find some brokers, they're not answering their phones right away. They're not giving good service and they wonder why they're not making any money. Could that be the reason why? It could be. Now, any questions on this? So you've got a couple of things happening. You're going to have exclusive listings on this website that are not on any other website. Do you see them there? <coughs> okay, this is exclusive. These are from other brokers that are members of the service. Secondly, you're going to get this, the IDX link from Treb on the website, search MLS. Thirdly, this is going to send out listings to your prospects automatically for you. And if I go to commercial, you're going to have business opportunities, something that we set it up with. There they are there. If somebody wants a restaurant, they go to your website. You send every restaurant owner that you talk to to your website. You have, have talked to the owner of the restaurant. By the way, I happen to have a website. I'm going to show you how to promote your website when you have this. And I'm going to use a business card. And I'm going to use two ways to hand out a business card. I'm going to call it way number one and way number two. And you tell me what's more effective. Because all this stuff, it's only as good as the amount of traffic that you can get to your website. So I'm going to show you that there's 40 40 different ways to promote your website. It's not just Google and meta tags and keywords and stuff. We'll teach that. But it's other ways too. One way, it starts with your business card. How important this business card can be. 
very nicely designed. And I'm going to pretend you're the owner of a restaurant. And I just finished having lunch with my wife at your restaurant. And I'm at the front, and I'm at the cashier, and you're taking the money at the front. Okay? By the way, I really enjoyed the meal. The, the food was terrific. The service was great. First time I've been here. And I'll be coming back again. Sure. And by the way, I happen to be in real estate, and I thought maybe I would leave you my business card in case you're ever doing business in real estate. You might want to visit my website. And uh, feel free to give me a call. Okay, that's way number one. All right, here comes way number two. Uh, by the way, I really enjoyed the meal with my wife, and uh, we'll be coming back again. The service was terrific. I enjoyed it. By the way, I happen to be in real estate as well, and I got something special. That I've got a lot of restaurants that are on my website. Whether you're interested in buying or selling, I don't know. But nevertheless, we've got over 200 restaurants on my website, buyers and sellers. You might have a colleague or somebody interested. I also have uh, MLS listings, but I also have exclusive listings not on MLS. I have residential not on MLS and MLS listings with color photos and slideshow displays. And I'd like to invite you to have a look at it sometime. You might want to share it with your family and friends. Which way is more effective? Why? Why is way number two more effective, people? More details about what? About his interest of business. You're talking about his interest. What else? That's a different question. Plant, you're sort of planting seeds. Planting seeds. Isn't that a nice way to plant seeds? Now, what you're doing is what the department store people do. They don't just say, come to Best Buy. I know they say it sometimes. But what they say is, we have a special for students' computers this month. Uh, a bicycle, the Canadian Tire, uh, come and buy lawnmowers or uh, something. They're talking about the content that is in their store. I'm talking about when you have a website like this, that you talk about the content that's in your website. <laughs> That's what you sell. That's what you tell people about. Okay? Let's move on. We're just about finished here. All right. Now, there's all kinds of different sample websites. I want you to see what they look like. Residential, GTA Homes, My Haves and Wants. When you add your haves and wants, they're instantly added to your website. Property search function. People can search all of the GTA. They might want to buy a home in Burlington. Your website will send them all the new listings in Burlington. Question. Like all these listings what we are seeing over there in like you know the GTA and all that stuff. Yes, sir. Not only those listings, the people who are associated with you guys. Uh, the people that are uh, okay. Excellent question. Thank you for asking it. And here's how I'm going to answer. If and when you join ICI World, we are one major world network. Mm -hmm. This company down here is another major world network. Mm -hmm. We're official distributors of these websites. So you really end up belonging to two major world networks if you get both. There's some options here which I'm going to cover in the next five minutes. So this point to agent network, the brokers that belong to this network can advertise their MLS listings. And here's how they do it. Point two, I'm so glad I got started with these several years ago. I saw them as far reaching people. They signed an agreement with CREA, the Canadian Real Estate Association. When you when you hand in um, your listings, who's, uh, who's is this? Oh, is that yours? Should I give it to you? No, that's okay. Thank you. When you hand in your listing into the office, the listing can automatically go onto this website. Isn't that fantastic? That's an agreement with CREA. It's called a DDF feed. So this is a major world network that has members. The members of this network are posting these listings. All our members are also members of this, the majority of them. Not all of them, but the majority of them. So this is a separate option. Okay? All right, now, in addition to the widgets for these homes that you see here, and this is going to help you get listings. People, if you show this, especially all the higher priced homes that you have in this area, you show this to people, isn't this a powerful listing tool? 
all, if they're going to pay you $25,000 to sell their home, shouldn't you have these beautiful, wonderful tools that are here available for you on the internet so that people can see this from overseas someplace, from Europe, from Asia, all over the world? They can see your website just like this, and they can see it on their mobile devices. This is the big revolution on the internet to get the websites onto these things. Very, very important. All right, let's move on. What else, to, just to sum up, what else you have? Residential exclusive. These ones are from ICI World that you see coming up here, all the exclusive listings and buyers. And then you also have the MLS one, such as searching MLS, which we install for you. So you've got the TREB listings on here. In addition, you've got GTA commercial properties, everything, gas stations, you name it, commercial properties. Here's a property for $13 million. Is it possible somebody might see that on your website? It's possible. You could end up getting a call. Bingo. Next thing you know, you're doing a nice big commission. Um, Ontario Commercial. And look at this list of buyers that are here. Somebody's looking to try to get a listing on apartment building. Click on the apartment building buyers. You've got 186 buyers today looking for apartment buildings. On your website, it shows and demonstrates how well connected you are to these buyers in the marketplace. People will have a greater profound respect of what you're doing in real estate as a result. World commercial properties all over the world, businesses, all different types, hotels, motels, gas stations, people, 90% of these, they're not on real estate boards. These gas stations are not on real estate boards. Hotels, motels, all of this kind of stuff, 90% of them not on real estate boards. And then uh, the FISBOS, database number two, these, this is the public posting information, absolutely free. There's a list of them on your website. You can trigger leads from the FISBOs on ICI World. That's a double ender for you, you know, so it's, it's that exciting. Now, how much do uh, all, all of these different uh, websites and everything else cost? Well, there's two things I need you to pull out right now in your documents. In consideration of us coming to do here, and these things... This is actually a $1,500 presentation that we do for real estate boards if we do not do any selling. But in, ex in consideration of allowing us to do a little short commercial, there's two documents here that I'm going to ask you to fill in. The first one is called an evaluation sheet. It's on the left-hand side. You need to pull that out. And in consideration of me coming here today, would you please, if you don't mind, fill in this evaluation sheet. It's on the left-hand side. And uh, just to give some feedback, we like to get the feedback from you of what you thought about this educational session about the Internet. But now I'm going to also ask you this form here. What does it say how much on this application form, how much is our service cost normally? Anybody? No. Nope. Try again. Try again. 319. It's 319 to join our service, okay? $319. You see that on the application sheet, everyone? You see that? It's on the left-hand side in, in the, the brochures there. Now, when we do, and the renewals are 319 as well, by the way. The renewals are 319. We do have a sponsorship program that if you sponsor somebody to join the service and recommend our service to someone over the next year, you can rejoin for 240. You got that? If you don't recommend anybody, then it's just 319 to renew. The person that you recommend or sponsor, they can join for 240 as well. So you can recommend to others to join for 240. Got that? Otherwise, it's 319. Now, today in the special down at the bottom, how much does it say it is if you join here at the seminar? What does it say? 271.20 is correct. Made up of $31.20 HST. The HST you get back, so your real investment, and you notice I use the word investment. If you put money in the bank, if you put $10,000 in the bank and you get 1% or 2% interest, that's an investment. You get some money back. When you make 240 here, we suggest that's an investment. It's an investment in yourself to trigger leads. You get one lead, bingo, you make $5,000, $10,000. That's why we call it an investment. 
And if you're not generating leads every 90 days, what should you be doing? You call the Ghostbusters. Where are the Ghostbusters? Who do you call when you have a problem? You call us. You give us a chance to help you. If you don't call us, how do we know? We don't know. So you have to measure. You call us up and say, Gary, I joined your service. I gave you $240. I haven't had one lead. What am I doing wrong? I will look at your membership and I will see, do you have 15 opportunities? And you'll say, what? 15 opportunities? Is there anyone? Okay, I'm going to ask you. If I challenge every single one in this room right now, how many open or exclusive opportunities? You know how we talked about FISBOs in the beginning? How many of those can you identify that you can ask those three questions to? I want you to give me a number, everybody. Just shoot it out. Let's talk about the person who said two. Where is he? How many people are advertising in the newspaper tonight in the Toronto Star? 20. So couldn't you ask those 20? That's 20 opportunities that you could ask those three questions to. Am I right or wrong? So I want you to give me a number, realistically, how many people, how many opportunities. Anybody that says, I'd like to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a commission, or I don't want to give you a listing, but I will pay you a commission. How many of those could you come up with, realistically, in the next 90 days, if you were challenged to do so? Give me some numbers. 10, 20. Some others. Just give me a number. Ten. Let's talk about five. There, there's people. How many people are trying to sell properties themselves in Kijiji today? How many? Fifty. So you could be asking fifty, couldn't you? I'm suggesting the minimum is fifteen. I'm going to tell you, the brokers that have fifteen to twenty, they're averaging one deal going back and forth at, at any one time. The ones that have 20 to 30, they're averaging two deals going back and forth. The ones that have 30 to 40, they're averaging three deals. And the ones with over 40, they got four offers on the go. I'm not kidding. So it's up to you how much you want to work. But shouldn't the bottom line be a minimum of 15? You're the, you're, if you want to be in business, shouldn't you have 15 opportunities on the Internet? Now, what's the difference between MLS? On MLS, right now, you have... If you take the, the advantage of being on MLS is they can take your listing and put it on the internet where there's five billion people. Okay? If you don't have any listings, you don't have any listings in front of anybody. If you have something for sale right now and it's not on the internet, aren't you a secret agent? You're really secret. You have properties coming for sale. That's a secret. You're an agent, but you're a secret agent. I'm letting you know. I want to try to pull it out of you. Get it out here on the Internet. So over here on MLS, you have zero listings, one or two or three. Or would you like to have 15 listings on the Internet where there's 5 billion people? You can do it through MLS. If you can do it through MLS, terrific. But if you can't, you can now do it through ICI World. 15 opportunities on the Internet where there's 5 billion people. It's got to trigger information, people to call you. So when I say, how many can you come up with in the next three months, reasonable, that you're actually going to do it, how many do you think? Can you call at least 15? Everybody here? Yeah. Get excited. It's an opportunity to do business. All right. The first person that joins, I have a special. And the special is that I will add three months on here and give the first person that joins today all you have to do is staple your business card to this forum and put your credit card number there and I will give a bonus of three months you get 15 months service for 240 do I have anyone yes sir you don't have to have a website you can join ICI world and use those services but if you want a website the websites by the way thank you for asking that question Look at the third bullet on the right-hand side, please. The third bullet on the right-hand side. What does it say? Websites are free for how long? 
One month. One month. And after one month, if you want to keep it, how much are they? One ninety nine per year. So the websites are separate. To join ICI World is one thing. The websites are separate. If you get the website, because you join ICI World, we will totally design the whole thing for you. Everything. How do we do it? We do it in a little website workshop, one on one. You get online, we make an appointment at 11 o'clock on Monday, and you get on the internet with us, we show you how to do it, and then we design it before your very eyes. We get the domain name, get everything going for you. You pick the colors, the graphics, the design, the things you want on it. You get to pick it all, but we have to do it together. It's a total of 90 minutes. We can't get it any less than that. Um, and then you will have your website with your own name as a domain name and maybe another domain name to help you get traffic. And then once a month, how to promote your website. But to join ICI World right now is 240. The first person that joins gets three months bonus. So it's 15 months for the first person. Is there anyone here interested in joining? Okay, so we've got 15 months over here for the first person. Is there anyone else interested in joining? Anyone else at all? We have one for 15 months right here. Are you interested? I'm sorry? If, if you're the second person, I got something even more special. That's why. <laughs> Do I have someone that's interested? Even more special than 15 months. Ask, now's the time to ask questions. To be honest, yes, sir. I'm into the real estate business for the last four or five years. Never heard about this. This is really painful for me. As a real That's why we're here. As a real estate professional, if I don't know how often the common people go to this website. Well, first of all, we suggest that you promote your website and get the people to go to your website. Because if you send them to ICI World, other brokers are going to get those clients. Every one of you should be learning how to promote your own website to get the business to come to your website. And that's what we're going to be teaching you how to do. So we teach all our members how to promote their own website so that you can get people coming to your website. $199 a year as a website. That's correct. Domains are separate. They are $9.99 per year. That's the only other extra fee that there is. No, uh, the 199 is your hosting. It's the design by ICI World. You can make changes. We show you how to work it. And the website automatically updates itself 50 to 100 new listings a day, and you don't have to do a thing. There's an example of it. All these new listings that are coming in that you can send people to. Daddy, what about if I have my own website? You can have the widgets on your own website. You don't have to have this website. Right. Would you like to know what you might be missing? Okay, one of them is this website will automatically send out listings to all your clients, every open house that you have. So in other words, after you show an open house, somebody comes there, and let's say that they're interested to buy a townhouse in this area, this website can be programmed to send them out townhouses that come available. Two weeks from now, they can end up getting an email from your website automatically, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they call his wife and he says, I just got an email from your web from this gentleman's website. Why don't we go see it tonight at 7? You get a call at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Somebody says, I just got an email. I'd like to go see this home tonight at 7 o'clock. You tell me if that isn't good for you. Yes. It's terrific. This website will automatically program those properties that are coming on here to be sent to you. Now, did you know that MLS can do that? MLS can actually do that, but the MLS cannot send out the exclusive listings that are on here. Question? Will you be making some changes in my existing website? No. The only thing that you'll be doing is adding links to your website. So you might have a property search function that you might want to call it residential and call another one commercial. 
so that you have commercial and residential. Most brokers like that idea. Do you like that idea? There you go. So you're going to have a commercial and a residential. And so what you're going to have, people, you're going to have all of these listings under here. You're going to have all of those widgets on your website in a way that you get the calls personally. This is in addition to anything you're doing in the office here. This is in addition to that. Those are some of the samples. What do some of, the, some of these other websites look like? You can see them. And they all have this. Residential, there they are. GTA Homes, this one here is in Markham. If somebody clicks on that, bingo, up comes properties like this on their website. And if somebody happens to click on that, bingo, you're going to get these beautiful slideshow displays on your website. Actually, I wouldn't put dark pictures like that if I had that home. Those are pretty dark pictures. But nevertheless, people still get to see them inside. Let's go down, click on something like this, see what it looks like. You know, I call this the ultimate in marketing on the internet, where people all over the world can see these listings, exclusive that you don't have now. This particular one, though, is MLS. You can see MLS up there, but this website has lots of exclusive listings as well. Now, you brought up a good point about not knowing ICI World. Did you see all of these testimonials? Maybe you haven't seen all of these testimonials back here. Oh, you came in late. Yes, yes. okay. I, I, I do have. You better just go through now. Please pull it out, if you don't mind. Please pull it out right now and go through and read all these brokers doing deals. It's literally all our members connecting to do business. If you also want to see how to search members on our service, you can actually go to the website and you'll see that there's a thing called members up here. Do you see that? Yeah. And if I click on that, bingo, you're going to see list of executive members and their companies. I could click on that and you'll see that there's 785 companies with over 1,000 members. You see them all? Go to the next page. If I'm not satisfied, then is there any cancellation thing? There's no cancellation, but what you do have is a pledge. In other words, that, let me ask you a question. If you have these widgets on your website, and if you're not generating leads, what's the problem? Is it the problem with the widgets, or is it the problem that you don't have traffic to your website? It's the traffic to the website. Thank you, because that is the right answer. Now, if you're having problems with traffic to your website, I have something special for you that they don't get. May I show it to you? Okay, here's, watch this. I'm going to go back to ICI World, and up here, what does this say? Yes. Webinars. And what's number two say on the screen? How to promote your website. We have attended world search engine conventions. We've gone to Las Vegas. It cost us $4,000 to go to Las Vegas to learn from the world search engine people, from Microsoft Networks, from Yahoo, from uh, Google. And we were going to workshops all day long for five days in a row, from 7 in the morning till 7 at night. I didn't even get a chance to play blackjack. <laughs> we were tired. Anyways. We were learning what makes a website get traffic. And we went into the meta tags and the keywords and the description and how you can have things that people search, Brampton Real Estate, how can you get your website to come up? We covered pay-per-click. We did it all, how to design these websites. And we have learned that, and we're going to be teaching that in this session every month. People, you can take all this stuff you want. But if you don't promote your website with a passion, you're still not going to get any traffic. And that's what you were alluding to. The most important thing every real estate person should be doing, I believe, is to promote your website with a passion. Starting with your business card, how you hand it out, getting all the people, getting social media. People go into your social media. They can see your website with all these listings that no other broker has. That's exciting. You promote it, they see a listing, they call you, you go show something. It actually is that simple once it's set up. Now, how do we make it simple? When we turn in this application to the office from you, the girl is going to call you tomorrow. She's going to make an appointment, 30 minutes, in your office, over the phone. 
we send you a link. You click on the link and boom, you're going to be right in the workshop. And then we're going to start by showing you how to place your haves and wants. And then the second thing we're going to do is she is going to send you the instructions for those widgets. And you're going to send that to your website designer. You're done. It all starts to work for you. Now, if you want to talk about another website, that would be another 30-minute uh, appointment that she would book, book you in. But the most important thing is to get the widgets working on your existing website. I would say number one. Number two, get you into the workshop, and you'll notice it's coming up Friday, March 22nd, 21st. That's next week. Okay? Take that, and then learn to promote your website. And then if you want to consider one of these other websites in addition to this website, all you have to do is get one lead, do one deal. You're going to want the other website, right? And then you start to go from there. So if you're the one person that joins and no one other person joins, I'll help you make some money, and then you tell them, and then eventually you can join in another year or two. It's up to yourselves, you know? If it's a matter of dollars and cents, maybe something can be worked out, you know? But it's 240 for 15 months. The second person that would join would get another special. If anybody is interested, all you have to do is put your credit card on here. How about the broker? Well, the movement of the website is okay. free. The website is free for one month? No, no. I'm sorry? I don't have a website. We would actually make it for you. It has the follow. It's all included. It's all included in the 240. So you get a website and it's free for one month. After one month, if you want to keep it, it's 199. But it'd be like having 15 or 20 more billboards on the internet. So that's a concept that maybe people want to talk to you about. And that might be holding them back. So you'd have to talk about that. Well, here's what I'll do. How long do you think it will take to talk to them about it? Next week? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend it for 10 days to give you a chance to talk. I offer 15 months here. In most all offices that I go to, I get over 50% of the people normally putting their hand up because they want to, but I think they want to talk with you first. And I don't blame you at all. So I'm going to give you a chance, and I'm going to extend this special. The second person that joins, I was going to give 16 months to. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Today? Yeah, okay. So 16 months. You're going to get 16 months, and guess what? I'm going to get 18 months. You're going to get 16 months as well. Okay, so <laughs> you you get... You get 16 and you get 16. Is there anybody else that's thinking of joining? The third one. You have to commit to doing it first. Do you have a credit card number? Are you ready? Is there anybody, is there a third one here at the moment? The third one. I need to hear. The third one, I'm going to be extending this even further. Hang on. The third one is going to get 17 months. Are you interested in 17? Is anybody interested in 17? Going once? Twice? No? She, she wants to do it. I know. I can see it in her. Yes, sir. As I said, let me talk to all of them. Okay, but I have to give you something to talk to them about. Yeah, don't you worry. That's what I'm trying to establish. First, we will sit together. Give me 20 20 seconds. Yeah. 20 seconds. I was going to give you 17 months. If you wanted 18, I would do 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You need to hear 24. Okay? So in other words, if everybody joined, the limit is 24 months if everybody joined. You get... Uh, let, me, let me answer that. I need to answer your question. I, I need to answer your question. Last year, we have 1,000 members. We made $20 profit for each member, $20. Are you hearing me? I'm answering your question. If you want this service to grow, shouldn't it really have some more money? This is your service. Do you want it to get better or worse? It's got to have a minimum amount of money to keep it going. We had to hire salespeople. It costs money. Instructors cost money. Support staff cost money. 
programming, graphics, designer, all of this. I, I know, but it, it's a legitimate question. I still like to answer it to let you know that we tried to bring the power of the Internet at the lowest possible cost because it's the Internet that is exciting. It gives you a chance to network worldwide, to have your information in all the countries of the world. You can have a house for sale. They can be seeing it in India, any place in the world. This is beautiful. So thank you very much. I'm going to allow you to speak with your broker. I'm going to keep the special open, especially I know you asked for it. Can it keep it, keep it open longer? So far, we've got uh, 15, 16 months. But for them, anybody that joins within the next 10 days, I'm going to keep adding one more. And if it gets to the limit 24, everybody gets 24. And it's retroactive for yourselves. So you guys can join now. We get two. And then talk with your broker later. Broker of record counts one or ten? He counts as one as well. <laughs> but if there's a, um, there was something called a team membership, which we were instituting, we haven't done it yet. Maybe this is a place to do it. I don't know. If there's a way, to, okay. All right. Is, where's the broker of record? Is he here? All right. I'll, I'll tell you now because we're making this available as a team. If everybody joins as a team, and do you put your listing, this, uh, <laughs> how are we going to do that? A team means that you turn all your listings and the listings on ICI World, you get the office to put them on. Is that what you do? Yes. If you do it that way, it's $200. This is a new team membership. 24 months? Uh, 24 months. I don't know. I, okay, you got me now. I'll have to think about it, but I'll do it. You'll get two years for $200 for a team membership. I call it a team membership. It allows your name to go in the listings. At the bottom of the listings is one name, the brokerage office, but your name can be in the listing. In the listing. That's on ICI World. You're not getting, uh, let me see, can we do separate websites? We can do websites free for uh, one month and then $199 per year. We can still do that. It's called a team membership but you don't have the login credentials to get into ICI World. You don't, can't log in, okay. okay? However, if you pay an extra $40, you can. So it's up to you guys. Okay, thank you people for the opportunity to come and speak thank to you. you. Very much, Gary. And if you can fill in the evaluation form, even if you have to take it with you and do it downstairs, but please, before you leave the building, I really would appreciate your opportunity. It's called an evaluation worksheet. And it's on the left-hand side. Thank you. And we'll have to stop this recording. I forgot all about that. And the same thing will be offered to all the people online if you're interested at all. Just call our office and tell them about it, or, and they'll refer you to us. Okay.